On today's show, the daiquiri, a classic drink from the Spanish-American War. It's limey, it's rummy, and it's oh so yummy. Coming up on The Quarantine Bartender. Hey folks, welcome back to another exciting episode of The Quarantine Bartender. If you don't know me, my name is QB, and my channel is all about cocktails and drinks. On today's show, the daiquiri. This was one of the six major drinks in the art of mixing. It's a great book by, I believe, Emmings from the last century. Uh, we're picking up this week. This is episode number two. Remember, last week was the sidecar. So today, the daiquiri. Let's uh, give a little history of it. Well, first off, over here, we're going to use light rum, and then we're going to mix it with freshly squeezed lime juice, and then we're going to add in some simple syrup, and we're going to hit it on the gritty shaker, and we're going to pour it into a chilled martini glass, which is right here. So let's go ahead and dump this into our Red Solo cup. All you rednecks out there will know what country song I'm talking about. All right, so they say that the daiquiri was actually created or invented by an engineer uh, named Cox <laughs> during the Spanish-American War. So I don't know if I'd want to go around with that name, unless his name was Richard Cox. Anyway, okay, let's go ahead. We're going to put some ice in a glass. Oh, I'll get back here. All right, and then we're going to use two ounces of light rum. Okay, so... Going to use our trusty shot glass again that is marked with the ounce marks. Like I said, previous shows, you can get this at like Walmart or you can get it at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or any any reputable liquor store. If they have a, uh, a hardware section, you can get it there. So, let's cap this up. Now, remember, we said two ounces of light rum. Oh, get off of here. This thing is really... I can't open it. <laughs> Let's try this. Let's see if I can open it this way. Oh, where's Lois Lane when I need her? Okay, all you true nerds out there will know exactly what I'm talking about. One ounce, uh, actually three quarters of an ounce. I'm getting kind of ahead of myself. So three quarters of an ounce of the simple syrup. Pour that in there. And now, sorry, I didn't mean to mislead you. One ounce of the freshly squeezed lime juice. So, put this in here. I love lime juice. Did you know the British sailors? This is very close to their drink called grog. They had a ration of rum, and it had lime juice in it with a little bit of sugar. That's why they called them limeys. No offense to my British friends, whom I happen to love very much. All right. All three of those into the gritty shaker, and we do the perfect shake. Go Broncos. And they need all the help they can get. Okay. So, we're going to strain this, and we have a strainer already built into our shaker, into the chilled martini glass. Okay. Mmm, look at that. Ooh. Gonna have a hot time in Santiago tonight. That was sung by Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders. Okay, now next up, a lime twist, which is the skin of a lime, and you twist it in like this. And what does that do? Gives a little aromatics in there, okay? I'm gonna put that right there. And then, if you want, garnish with a lime wedge, like so. And that, my friends, is the classic daiquiri. Now, you can do these things different ways. If you want to make this a strawberry daiquiri, you can add strawberry syrup. Don't get the Hershey's or Nestle Quick strawberry syrup because there's nothing but high fructose corn syrup with artificial flavor. What you want to do is get some strawberries and puree them in a blender and pour it into the daiquiri. Or you can put it in a blender and freeze it. And uh, these were also a very favorite drink of uh, Ernest Hemingway and JFK who both died from a gunshot to the head, so I'm not really sure I want to drink this right now. Anyway, let's give it a shot, all right? 
Mmm, you can really smell that lime coming off that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh, that goes down smooth. Mmm, that's what she said. Okay, anyway. All right. <laughs> So there you go, the classic daiquiri, very easy. Two ounces of light rum, I use Bacardi Light, okay? One ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, and then three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Sometimes they use, what's the name of it? Demerara syrup, I, I really can't pronounce it. It's basically sugar in the raw. So it's like raw cane sugar, really thick granules. And you just melt that in a pan with a shot of water, and it makes the nice, rich syrup so you can try it with a darker kind of raw sugar and it wouldn't be bad either oh my goodness and you can also make banana daiquiris i've heard of people do that too and like i said just a second ago you can put it in a blender with some extra ice and make frozen daiquiris you know throw a handful of frozen strawberries in there a friend of mine told me that so it'll work good but anyway if you got any comments or questions hey put them in the comment section below uh, click like tell your friends follow us on facebook and now on YouTube. So, here's to Ernest Hemingway, the old man in the sea, and uh, my fellow Americans. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Oh, God damn, that's good. <clears throat> on another episode of The Quarantine Bartender. Bye. Oh, man, that is good. Good. Mm.